Hello there, Ray here, and the 1.14 full release is out for Java. Now I won't be going over all the different changes that encompass the entire 1.14 version. If you would like to see all the different stuff that comes out in this version, Cupfan did a really great video going over all the different things. And I'll link that video of his down in the description. What I will be covering today is the changes between the last pre-release and the full version, as when they come out with these full releases, they usually add on some more bug fixes, but they normally don't talk about them on their webpage. Now, some of these bug fixes are ones that you guys mentioned, so it's really cool to see them being fixed. There is still quite a few major bugs that haven't been fixed in the 1.14 full release, and I will be doing a separate video going over those bug fixes, which are bug fixes that we believe that really should be fixed before long-term survival players will update their worlds. Now, if you guys still know of some bugs that are pretty major and you would like to add into this video, please tell me down in the comments and we'll add them. To definitely look forward to that video, let's take a look at all the changes that came between the pre-release and 1.14 full release. They fixed the outline of the saddle image. They fixed a bug which was crashing servers when players were using a crossbow to shoot players on servers with PvP turned off. They fixed a bug where you were still able to craft up planks even if you had other items in the crafting grid. They fixed a bug to do with crafting books where it wouldn't allow you to craft them in certain areas. In the past there has been bugs to do with block entities causing problems with ticking and lag. And this version they fixed a crash which was occurring from ticking hoppers. They fixed a bug called Iron Golem spawning at an alarming rate. In this one, Iron Golems were spawning at villages and they're just moving a little ways away and then more Iron Golems were spawning. This had to do with the villages only checking 9 blocks out to see if there was an Iron Golem in the area. So with Iron Golem farms, you most likely will have to remove the Iron Golems before new ones will spawn. They fixed a bug to do with players when coming out of bed weren't able to stand on top of carpets. Let's go ahead and try that. Hit escape. You say it did put me on top of this carpet here and that is definitely different. Because in the past, I tried putting different types of blocks for the player to land on top of. And in most cases, you need to have a full air gap in both these blocks here before the player will be able to be placed there from his bed. Or they'll place you directly on top of the bed. So this is actually kind of nice because I was actually using this in the lightning farm, trying to align the player properly when he came out of the bed. It also seems to work with the trapdoor as well. I'm placed on top of the trapdoor. It also seems to work with anything that is under half a block. And it seems when the player comes out of the bed, he is aligned perfectly to the very far outside edge. But it doesn't work with trapdoors that are tilted upwards, even though the player doesn't collide with it. They fix a bug to do with crafting up different types of firework stars. And if you guys didn't know, all you need to have is gunpowder as well as dye to make one of these. There was another crashing bug to do with signs and they're being ticked. And if you replace like one tile and you put another one there, very similar to what I showed with the chalker boxes, it was causing the servers to crash. They fixed a bug to do with beacons not always activating or changing their effects. They fixed a bug to do with servers getting in a ticking loop and causing the game to crash. They fixed a Java crash that was really prominent to those people using Linux. They fixed some server lighting problems which were still broken in the 1.14 pre-releases. There is all the changes between the last pre-release and the full release. And don't forget guys to check out Cupfan's video if you'd like to see all the different changes that occurred across the entire 1.14 versions. And if you guys did find this video interesting, show us a like and share it with somebody else. And don't forget to go ahead and subscribe. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!